Hey guys, this is Jess from Curse here at Eve Vegas 2013. Here with me I've got David, the Chief Marketing Officer for CCP and also currently serving as the brand lead for Valkyrie. So I just right. played Valkyrie um, and I played it for the first time at FanFest. I recall doing better at FanFest than I did uh, this time, what did you guys change about the game? <laughs> well, it, it has taken a couple leaps forward, as you've noticed, right? Um, the first thing is, you probably noticed the graphics have taken a step up because two reasons. Number one, you're playing on a HD kit from Oculus as opposed to the standard depth that we've had at E3 and at FanFest and things like that. And secondly, we've just added more in the game now, right? So there's a little more in there in terms of the uh, the moment-to-moment -moment combat of, of firing your lasers, shooting your missiles. Uh, the head locking is a little tighter now. You know, it's just a bit more of a polished experience. At FanFest, it was really just like, hey, this is cool. Let's just show it to the players. And then we took it to E3, and it was like, holy crap, everybody wants this. We need to get serious about this. And so now we're turning it into a real game and, and have a dedicated team on it in Newcastle and a great exec producer that we were able to hire with Owen O'Brien coming off of Mirror's Edge and Dice. Uh, it's, a, it's a real, I mean, you know, there's a lot about Valkyrie that is very first person experience and a lot of what we like to call simulation sickness possibilities in there, right? If you get the lag wrong and, you know, if, if things just don't feel right, it can throw you off a bit. Having a guy who nailed this for Mirror's Edge is a, is a great fit for the team. So it's all come together very nicely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I could really, I can really see Mirror's Edge's uh, influence in the game. Um, one of the things I wanted to ask about was the name Valkyrie. So when I first played it at a fan fest, it was called EVR, and then yep. now it's it's gone through a name change. It's called Valkyrie, which I like the new name. But what what inspired that was was EVR always going to be a working title or a, uh, just kind of a you know we'd have to call it something so we're gonna call it EVR, or was there uh, a specific reason it actually changed names? Ah, well, so this is a story I can help tell in my other hat as being the brand lead on Valkyrie itself. So yes, when we went to fan fest, EVR was just sort of a code name. And it didn't have a, you know, I, again, it all came together very quickly. I mean, you know, we, we supported the Oculus Kickstarter. The kits showed up in Reykjavik. A couple of guys got together. I mean, really a half dozen guys started putting a prototype together. They dragged in like another dozen people. And all of a sudden there was something pretty cool here. And so we, we took it to FanFest and ultimately to E3 as EVR, you know, knowing that we had something cool, but we really didn't know if this was, I mean, how big is this thing going to be? After E3, it was like, okay, this this is this is real. This is hot. This has something going for it that a lot of other things in the industry don't. And there was an energy to it. It was like, okay, we're going to get serious about this. We're going to make it a real game, and a real game deserves a real name, right? And so, so that led to the the process of, of brainstorming and. Red Bull and alcohol and everything to just come up with big ideas here. And and the Valkyrie name is not a name that I can take credit for. I have to I have to give credit where it's due. It's to, to Ned Coker, who is our uh, actually our PR associate um, manager in in Atlanta. And and Ned is the guy who came up with this name. And it was just fascinating because Valkyrie works on so many levels for us. You know, number one. It is the idea that you know we are an Icelandic company. We're you know our history is the Norse history, and you know Valkyrie is a Norse ideal, right? If this immortal winged woman that comes down, sorry, on winged horses that, that delivers fallen comrades up to Valhalla, right? So there's a little bit of that. But the, the second part of it is that much like in the EVE universe, right, and in EVE Online itself, in Valkyrie, you are an immortal space pilot, right? I mean, you're fighting and you're dying and you're coming back again and again. And I mean, at some level, you put all this together and, and what, what better name than Valkyrie for this idea of Icelandic company making a game where you're an immortal space pilot, you know, flying around. And and then just to add all to that is the fact that the VR in Valkyrie matched very well with the EVR, and so it was a real easy transition. I mean, you know, uh, it's always hard to name things, but when this one popped up, it was like, you know, again, it just felt like the planets are lining up on all things here. It's really yeah. cool. Yeah, it's a really fitting name, and then the branding just works really well with that. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, and then my final question is, I heard rumors that eventually you'd be able to be a female pilot in there, and you know, look down, you are clearly female, which which could present uh, some challenges, uh, but you know, also kind of makes it a little gender fair. What are your yeah. thoughts on that? I don't see any reason why we wouldn't. I mean, we've done that in EVE Online, we've done it in Dust 514. I mean, hey, there aren't a lot of first person shooters out there with female uh, avatars in them as well. Right. And and so we've got, you know, Dust Mercenaries in female drop suits and I, yeah, I mean, don't know where that is on the roadmap just yet, but I see no reason why we wouldn't do that. It makes perfect sense. It's just part of everything we do. Definitely awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. Awesome, thank you. Once again, I'm Jess from Curse here at Eve Vegas 2013. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the game.